In the final lesson of this chapter, we'll discuss the interaction between machine learning and time series data and introduce why they're worth thinking about in tandem. First, let's give a quick overview of the data we'll be using. They're both freely available online and come from the excellent website Kaggle.com. Audio is a very common kind of time series data. Audio tends to have a very high sampling frequency, often above 20,000 samples per second. Our first data set is audio data recorded from the hearts of medical patients. A subset of these patients have heart abnormalities. Can we use only this heartbeat data to detect which subjects have abnormalities? Audio data is often stored in WAV files. We can list all of these files using the glob function. It lists files that match a given pattern. Each of these files contains the auditory data for one heartbeat session, as well as the sampling rate for that data. We'll use a library called Librosa to read in the audio data set. Librosa has functions for extracting features, visualizations, and analysis for auditory data. We can import the data using the load function. The data is stored in audio, and the sampling frequency is stored in sfreq. Note that the sampling frequency here is 2205, which means there are 2,205 samples recorded per second. Using only the sampling frequency, we can infer the time point of each data point in our audio file relative to the start of the file. Now, we'll create an array of timestamps for our data. To do so, you have two options. The first is to generate a range of indices from zero to the number of data points in your audio file. Divide each index by the sampling frequency, and you have a time point for each data point. The second option is to calculate the final time point of your audio data using a similar method. Then use the linspace function to generate evenly spaced numbers between zero and the final time point. In either case, you should have an array of numbers of the same length as your audio data. Next, we'll explore data from the New York Stock Exchange. It runs over a much longer time span than our audio data and has a sampling frequency on the order of one sample per day, compared with 2,205 samples per second with the audio data. Our goal is to predict the stock value of a company using historical data from the market. As we are predicting a continuous output value, this is a regression problem. Let's take a look at the raw data. Each row is a sample for a given day and company. It seems that the dates go all the way back to 2010. It is useful to investigate the type of data in each column. NumPy or Pandas may treat an array of data in special ways depending on its type. We can print the type of each column by looking at the dtypes attribute. Here we see that the type of each column is object, which is a generic data type. Since we know one column is actually a list of dates, let's change the column type to date time using the toDateTime function. This will help us perform visualization and analysis later on. Now, let's get our hands dirty with these two datasets. We'll practice loading in and exploring the data, then move on to some simple analysis.